if this should work. So Liz is a professional horse trainer. She also does saddle fitting because that saddle has to fit both the rider and the horse's back. So she came, that's her saddle on him now, but she came to check out my saddles because he's a new boy and see what's comfortable for him. Plus, when you get old like me and don't mount anymore, you're afraid of falling off. So I need to find a saddle that I'm comfortable in. Like you just sit on? To make sure that I don't come off if he decides to be stupid. his head, when he drops his head and right there, the f his face should not be behind the perpendicular, it should be here, not here. And he's going here. Do you see what I'm saying? Wow. His, it's just what they're expecting. If he's coming behind it, it means he's avoiding the pressure of your hands. See how he's avoiding all of that. He should be he should be accept there. He's a little more accepting there. He's controlling how fast he should go. Well, actually, a lot. So when you're riding like that, your body weight, your body position, you can give directions with your legs. And is your leg forward an inch? back two inches? Are your hands low? Are your hands high? There's just a million moving parts because you can actually control every part of him. See right now she's giving him that inside heel. Mm -hmm. She's trying to get him to bend and he doesn't want to bend away from her. And then he's ducking behind the reins, which is a no-no. He needs to be taking a hold of There you go. Come on. He's getting trained. Yep, she's talking to him. Yeah, I put him in something where you can touch his face a little bit better. Okay. Right. stuff. <laughs> 